PP 113 over 69, heart rate 84. Jesus, is that good? <laughs> You're doing fine, Alice. Mm. Oh, you're doing fine. I don't think this anaesthetic's working. I'm going to feel it. Oh, you're going to be all right. How do you know? <sighs> I've, I've, I've changed my mind. Can you feel anything? Of course I can't. I've not done it yet. Oh, they have it. Don't be daft. Sorry. I'm calling you daft. What, they cut me open? Yeah. Big style. Big style. Well, don't look! How come you're not at Dawn's party? What for? I had you down as a party animal. Yeah, the animal's already there. Scott! Hey, I've just had a great idea for a new pub game. Misery Mugs. It's a toss-up between you and him. It's not as if Martin's leaving the village. Who said it's got anything to do with Martin? Hiya. Oh, we were just talking about you. Are you glad to get shot at me? I must admit, I've been a resident Bobby hasn't gone down a bundle with some of our clientele. All packed? You're joking. Kayleigh's got twice as much stuff as she came with. Ain't got any cardboard boxes, have you? I think there's some in the cellar. I'll sort her out. You have a drink with Louise. Say your last farewells. Mind the cellar steps. <laughs> what do you want? Do you not have to drag my daughter from pillar to post, living out of suitcases? That'd be a large brandy, then. I had no idea it was even a birthday. Glad you could make it, mate. Mate? Isn't it time we both moved on? Well, you've obviously seen fit to move on. It's a cliche. I've done something awful. Let's pretend it never happened. Do you really think I could forget being banged up with a bunch of no hopers that struggled to use a knife and fork? Well, that's a shame. Not the shame is losing my daughter. That's your loss. Her game. You might have made an effort. My youngest, Anya, was a prem baby. Could have held her in the palm of your hand. Scary at the time, but she's right, little bouncer now. Can't we talk about something else? It is a maternity ward. It's depressing. I've only set foot in one once. Oh, when I was born. No, Kane. But after how he turned out, it put me right off. He must have only been little when Chas was born. Maybe, but he was still the spawn of Satan. That's my son you're talking about. Yeah, I rest my case. Anyone want to wet? It'll be funny. It just be me and my dad again. At least you won't have to put up with the racket of this place. I like it here. There's always people about. When my dad works late, I'm always stuck with some sitter who's never off a mobile. Yeah, well, you won't be a million miles away. Drop in whenever you want. Wouldn't Louise mind? I think she'd mind if you didn't. She thinks the world of you. How about having that as a receptionist uniform? Some of the punters might even crack a smile. I wonder where you buy something like that. <laughs> I don't think they'd stock you a size, mate. Hello? Oh, a bottle of wine. So? Who are you trying to impress? Right, I tell her. Do I get a birthday kiss then? Oh, no, you're too old for him. You prefer some gym slips, don't you? <laughs> you never know your luck. <laughs> you wonder why I don't like. <laughs> it's great of you to do all this. Oh, it's got a paper booze. Ooh. Cheers, Scott. Bit of a bummer, Danny's not here, though. He was invited. What's up with him? That's got. Oh, doesn't like the idea of sharing you. <laughs> Make me sound like a bag of sweets. Nah, just an old bag. <laughs> I'm getting some bleeding. Okay, I'll give him more fluid. How much blood have we got? What does it feel like? like? Oh, I do explain. A bit like someone rummaging in my sock drawer. I'm gonna be sick. Here you go. Can I do that? Hey, I like this one. There are nine zillion bicycles in Beijing. 
Still can't believe you didn't tell your old man about us. I forgot. Liar. I'll tell him. When? Soon. Well, you're hardly a shrinking violet. I can just keep hidden away. Well, why would you want to? Right, Belle. Hold on tight. What are you doing? Ah! Ah! Jensen, walk me! <laughs> Look at her. At least it's keeping Belle occupied. Any word? No. You've been a long time in the toilet. Hmm? Have you got a stopwatch running? You've had one of Shadrach's cans. Aye, cos if he sups them all, I'll have to stretch him to the van. Where is he? Stop put in there for a bit. In the toilet? He reckons the lager's going through him that fast, it'll save on shoe leather. He's sat in a trap with the doors wide open. I hope he kept his pants on. Why won't they tell us what's going on? Well, they can't just stop everything to give us a running commentary. As long as they know what they're doing. Of course they do. Oh. I just hope it's all right. Sam reckons he's read up on everything, but... anything did go wrong, I can't see the lad handling it. No. You must be on decent money. It doesn't seem like it, after I pay for childcare and stuff. Well, paying rent to that landlord's money down the drain. You should buy a house of your own. There's not much going round here. Oh, what's the big attraction with around here? I've got just the sort of place for a well-heeled professional like you. The Dingles Bar? No, the new development the Kings are building. It'd be really nice. You have a big house, proper garden, Barbies in the summer. I never had you down as a homemaker. No, I just meant, you know, Kaylee would love it. Well, if it was anyone but the Kings behind it, I might be interested. Why? What have you got against them? A bad feeling. <sighs> Did you finish blowing them balloons up? No. <laughs> To me. Just came back anyway. Ruined your party. We'll have a great big party when we get the baby home. My dad'll see to that. I can't think of it. Why not? I can't even think about the next five minutes. A few hours ago I was collecting eggs at home like any other day and now look at me. It's like it's happening to someone else, not you and me. Congratulations. You have a baby boy. Oh, he's amazing. <laughs> We've got to get him stabilised. Are you taking him? He's going to the special care baby unit where he'll receive special help. <gasps> I want my baby! <sighs> Any chance of you and Emily getting back? What went wrong? I got more than stamps over the post office counter. <laughs> well, by rights we should be together till the day we die, but now Emily's got somebody in her life more important than I would ever be. I don't even know where she is. Robert really dumped on me when he walked out in the garage, you know. That's what he does to people. Who's Robert? My so-called brother. They share girlfriends. <laughs> Like Don does with you and Danny, you mean? Hey! <laughs> Thanks a lot, Jen. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so, are you glad you came then? I am. <laughs> Danny, you're coming to give me my birthday cake. Oh, you're insatiable. I know. Mm. I always said he was the dark horse of the family. You'll have to watch him. I am pleased you come back. <laughs> Strange. It doesn't hurt. Just a couple more stitches. 
then you can have a good rest. Well, what about the baby? Well, because he was born early. He needs some extra help. Is he going to die? No, don't say that. Jokes. He might be. Cheers, mate. Oh, that was lovely. Start why should I let that get bugged me? Well, you're here now and Joe's really chuffed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Of course. Well, let's dance then. What? Come here, son. You take him. What we do, yeah. Come on. Don't dance. How do you not? Oh, well, I feel a bit daft in your own front room. Oh, they're not my dip. You should worry about upsetting him. No. Oh. Time to toast the birthday girl. Woo! Champions! Oh. Come on, there's more in the fridge. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Right. Yeah, well, I know how to treat a woman. Not a dog. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Joe. Happy birthday to you. Just your luck, mate. <laughs> Always stay an extra night if you like. My mate's taking half the stuff now. Besides, it won't be any easier tomorrow. So, what is it with you and the kings? You know, what you were saying before. Maybe I don't like get rich quick property developers. There's more to it than that. Is it because I used to go out with Matthew? No, I'm not the jealous type. That's something. So? Someone like Kane Dingle's a second rate crook, and it's obvious to everybody. But in a crazy way, that's more honest. At least he don't pretend to be respectable. Struggle if he did. <laughs> but the kings, I reckon they're dodgy at best. Probably a lot worse. But Tom King plays golf with the chief constable. Well, I was only talking about buying a house off them. What's wrong with that? Probably nothing. I know it sounds naff, but I joined the force because I've got scruples. Meaning? I'll go and live in cruddy houses while Tom King gets a knighthood for services to the local community. You've been really brilliant, Alice. And you, Sam. We're going to be moving you soon to a recovery room. What about the baby? I'm supposed to hold him. I've seen it on telly, you're supposed to cuddle him. Even on farm, they put newborn animals to the mother. There'll be plenty of time for that. He's in an incubator just now. We'll get you there to see him as soon as we can. Better go and tell him all then. No, I don't want to leave you. Just think what your dad'll say when you tell him you've given him a grandson. Right. It's a Ponce's drink. I bet you I could drink you out of the table any time. Beer, shorts, anything you want. In your dreams. Drinking contest. Me versus Danny. You have a go, Paddy. Mm. I left me boat race days back at college. <laughs> right, I'm back in you, Danny. He's had enough. Who has? Well, you're on. Line him up. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey. Shot in the leg, Chaz. She wants shot. I was. By Cupid's arrow. Mm. A guy that couldn't live without me tried to carry me off into the sunset. And then he dropped me, the idiot. He must have been. Now, ladies. You stayed then. <laughs> well, we weren't going to do it, Ronna, were we? I'm glad. Well, have you got any news? Yeah. Yeah, I have. Well, go on then. Tell us before your dad busts a gut. We've got a new baby boy. <gasps> <Yeah! laughs> oh. What does he wear? I don't know. I've seen more fat on a chip. <laughs> Sammy! Sammy, lad, you have made me the proudest man on this earth. He's poorly, though. They have to take him off.
Hey, that'll do now. <laughs> what, are you, what are you that for? Because I don't want you puking on my floor. Oh, I'd like my Now, shake hands, boys. It's all been in good fun. I didn't win. Go on, Danny. <laughs> I'll walk you back. Where's Shadrach? We didn't want him breathing over the baby. Carl's running back. Look at the size of him. Let's just hope he doesn't end up stunted like you, eh? Just a G. Behave yourself. Oh, bless him. I'll best introduce you. This is our Delilah. Eh? This is our Chaz. I'm the good-looking one with the brain. This is Lisa. She'll do out for you. What about me? This is Ding Dong. Hi, I'm Belle. I'm your auntie. How did you work that out? <laughs> and this is your granddad. Pleased to meet you. Uh, pleased to meet you, Samson. Samson? Is he called Samson? No, he just said Sam's son. I like Samson. I'm going to call him Samson. So I've had an horse called Samson. Tonight, Cap. Where you been? Uh, you won't believe me. At hospital, waiting on the arrival of the new Dingle baby. I can think of better ways to spend an evening. Sam's? Mm hmm. God help it. He was made up. He'd be made up if you gave him a yo yo. How come you were there? I gave some of them a lift. Very noble. And which one commandeered your services as a bookshed cabbie? Delilah or Chastity? <laughs> hey, they choose some names, that lot. Chaz, and don't start. Oh, what's your business? She on leave from the army, then? Sort of. I bet they're glad to see the back of her. Yeah, well, I'm just glad she's back. Cos we're back together. Wind you up for? I've got to won that. It's just a stupid game. You showed me up. Well, I'm sorry you think that. I didn't mean to. You've been drinking before you came, I could tell. Anyway, what does it matter? You've got nothing to prove to anyone. Yeah, but what about you? I'm a bit past being impressed by people getting legless. I'm not on about how much I can drink. I'm on about you and me. Or is it you and Scott? Oh, how many times? There is no me and Scott. Honest. I thought I'd made that pretty clear. Me and you have got on great over the past few months. Why spoil it now? I know. You're right. Come on, let's go back to the party. Oh, not now. I'm just glad we've sorted it. Yeah, so am I. Let's go and tell him. Not wipe the grin off his mush. Tell him what? About me and you. Most of them will have guessed it anyway. There's quite a few people say you and me make a great couple. But now you've just said it. Said what? I know I've had a bit to drink. And I'm sorry if I was out of order before, but you know I'm not like that. The thing is, Dom, I've never been as happy in my whole life as I am right now. I love you. I'll choose who I go out with so you can dispense with the ear bending. What have I said? You don't have to. Of course you can see who you want. That's nice to know. I just thought you had something going with the other one, that's all. Dell's smashing, but she's just a mate. We'll see how long she stays a mate when she finds out about chastity. She already has. Oh, and you all sat down and discussed it in a civilised manner over cucumber sandwiches, did you? Not exactly. I bet. Do you want my opinion? Well, I'm going to get it one way or another. If I had any say in it, 
Chaz wouldn't be what I wanted for you. Here we go. And against my better judgment, I quite like it. Talk about faint praise. Uh, if you put her up against the likes of Sadie and Chloe, well, I'd go for Chaz any day. I know she's not exactly polished. You mean she's rough? No, oh, she's honest. What you see is what you get. And the more time goes by, I reckon that's more important than anything. To the new dingle in our lives, then. Don't go overboard. Ah, there she is. The mum of the moment. I feel like a mum. Is she all right? So sweet sides of it. He's got a little bracelet. Lisa's gonna knit him an hat like Sam's. He's all right. Why don't they bring him? He's all hooked up to tubes and things, love. I should be with him. There's nothing you could do, Alice. I could hug him. Hold him close. You can't even do that, love. Not just yet. <laughs> 